Um, I mentioned that the brave brother in arms of Keffels, Brianna Wu, Hassan Piker, Vouch, and Destiny were joining forces, setting aside their differences, and marching directly into the home of the President of the United States of America to enact change that they want to see in their lives. Um, now, there was a little bit of an oopsie doodle where all the Vax Maxers, Max Maxers decided to coop around a little bit. So, uh, due to, due to, uh, Brandon Wu and Keffels, unfortunately, both got COVID due to, you know, because they shared scissoring, scissoring material with each other. And therefore, uh, because it's just an open wound, they got each other's diseases, including the COVID. So they were no longer allowed to attend the meeting to begin with. However, that was only the harbinger of what was to come because Hassan Piker decided to say something that was a little bit inflammatory right before, literally days before uh, Vouch, Destiny, and, and uh, Hassan were scheduled to tour the White House with uh, some of the most important people in our, in our government. Okay, Ethan, but like, go Tibet ahead, go is, ahead. Tibet was literally a fucking feudal uh, slave uh, mandate, uh, uh, in, like, so autonomous China was, zone. So China, China did them a favor. That was one, I mean, in America, when I say something like this, people get very upset. You know, we, we talk about the Dalai Lama saying, suck my tongue or whatever, but like, that's not far from the norm in fucking normal Tibetan so, existence before the Communist Party came in and, and so China took over unilaterally took over Tibet, like these wealth are their culture. They basically are trying to, you know, homogenize the culture. If your culture... They're it, trying to squell the religion and the, the part, identity. The part of, the part of they feudal did them warlords favor. and slavery, abolishing that, yes, I do think that that is good. No, China did them a favor. I think that, yes, I will be on the record Just to like say America did it. that nah, while the Chinese it. government... Wait. I'm not going to say it. Well, there is no there is no equivalent in American intervention that you can point to in a similar capacity, unless you're talking about. Okay, so and I think this is a good uh, this is a good way to describe Taiwan as well. <laughs> the American federal government going to the fucking south and killing, unfortunately, not all of them, but a decent amount of <laughs> slavers and defenders of slavery. This is violent retribution from a powerful oh. federal government oh, that was that squashed. Thing. That squashed, okay. Tibet is the South in the Civil War. Yes. Tibet in the in the time frame where Chinese intervention happened would be the South. Yes, so they were doing the, slavery. What was the they moral were aspect of the war of of China? The interests uh, are are obviously like national security or whatever the fuck they uh, claim, but seem... but ultimately the reality was uh, that beyond the the uh, material benefits, that yes, they were a feudal, oppressive, uh, uh, slavery-backed uh, state, uh, autonomous region. So it seems when I picked the news hamster for this segment, I actually made a mistake, chat. For you see, another hamster could have perhaps done this job just a little bit better. I, w I welcome the Chinese hamster. So let me explain. Uh, first of all, the Chinese mandate over Tibet goes back further than simply the 1940s or whatever the fuck. So it's sort of weird how Hassan Piker's take is not only dumb, like it, it sounds dumb. He's not even using like the, the party's logic to justify Tibet. Uh, to begin with so uh, again this is like how brain damaged people are where everything has to go back to nazism and the confederacy uh, hassan piker of course is a first generation turkish immigrant who has absolutely no cultural ties to the american civil war he has no family who fall on either side 
and yet his entire frame of reference is two, two wars he has nothing to do with. Turkey was a non-participant in World War II and was a non-participant in the American Civil War. So for them to be like, for him to be like, yeah, I have very strong opinions about World War II and the American Civil War is fucking retarded. Uh, second of all, there is like obviously China still holds the area of um, I think that bet's called Xinjiang now. Let me, let me check that real quick. Sorry, Xizang, Xizang. Um, they did not call it the bet. So, uh, if he's going to try and take their side on conquering Tibet and holding it. Uh, he should probably stick to the historical justifications regarding to the Chinese empire in order to do so. Instead of being like, yeah, shit, man. It was like them conservators rose up and said, like, we need to, we need to slave all the black people and shit. And then Abraham Xi Ping said like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah, and walked down there and freed all them slaves. And he was a hero and never did nothing wrong. Uh, that's retarded. Uh, as far as Taiwan being a autocracy, um, kind of. That's also a very uneducated take. Uh, the, so Taiwan has a very interesting history where during the uh, Chinese Civil War, when the Kuomintang lost and they retreated to the island of Taiwan, they brought with it a military dictatorship. Uh, and the Kuomintang voluntarily re relinquished a military dictatorship to modern day democracy because they believed that they would actually have more power if they allowed people to vote because there would be more goodwill towards them. And to this day, the Kuomintang remains in power in Taiwan. So you could argue that Taiwan is an autocracy because of how rigid their political structure is. Uh, uh, but that's, I really think that's beyond the, the scope and understanding of Hassan Piker, who seems, I don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> Is there a good allegory to World War II? Uh, Taiwan's kind of like Poland, uh, where like, you know, like, um, I don't know, Poles and shit. You know, you know, you know how it is. World War II and shit. It, ma it makes perfect sense if you don't think about it. So there you go. Uh, anyways, this retarded comment broke away with American foreign policy. Uh, caused a lot of problems. Obviously, the Tibet issue is fucking settled. There is, <laughs> sorry, Tibet is a part of China. Uh, the Taiwan issue is ongoing. The Taiwan question, as they call it. Um, so this kind of retardation was not something that they, he could immediately say and then walk into the White House because then the the ambassador of of China would be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Um, so that call that was a lost opportunity for Vouch and Destiny, who already don't like Kassan. And it's going to uh, shower the relationship. Valsh even said something. I think it's just right. There we go. I'll play this. This is also pretty yeah. funny. Cultivated thing. I heard there was supposed to be an event at the White House that got canceled. Also heard that Hassan was somehow involved. Oh, man. I'm like actually angry about this one. Okay. Um, there were. Uh, I did get to meet with some White House staffers uh, outside of the White House. And that was pretty fun. But um, there was a White House event that was planned where we were going to go and get an influencer tour and meet with staffers in the White House. And apparently, I don't know this for sure, but apparently one of the people who was supposed to be there was Hassan. And the whole thing got canceled because it was thrown into suspicion when Hassan's recent comments on letting China take Taiwan uh, made their way up the chain. Like the whole thing was planned. And then Hassan's treasonous horse shit ended up getting fucking uh like elevated to a point where it was like whoa 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 hold on like we can't you know we we, we have to be like way more scrutinous now and then you know obviously nobody hassan destiny myself nobody is passing a pr background check right like if we're getting in there on that event it's because nobody looked into it too closely right it's because we got security checks not pr checks so now everyone gets a PR check. And wouldn't you know it, Keffels did 9-11, Hassan did 9-11, I did 9-11, Destiny did 9-11. So, like, yeah. Ac actually mad about that, by the way. Reminds me of that tragedy, chat. 9-11. <laughs> <9 -11. laughs> uh, so good fuck. Um... 
It's funny that the horse cock, age of consent, all the fucked up shit that both Death, Destiny Valsh and Hassan has said um, has been overlooked. But the whole, like, yeah, that just shows you where America's priorities are. Like, what is our government concerned with? Is it uh, horse cock? No. Is it child rape? No. Is it any of that other bullshit they talk about? No. Is it white supremacy? No. Is it this or that? No. Is it uh, maintaining good relationships with China so that we can continue to get microchips until we have a backup in place? Yes. Very much yes. It is very much avo avoiding conflict with China, uh, however, pos however much is possible, because <laughs> the last thing we need right now is after pouring all of our military surplus into all Ukraine to get into an armed conflict with China over... The, the one of the most important factories in the entire world there you go now you know learn your place goyam you know? <laughs> if you want to have any kind of uh, place in the political system uh the taiwan question is unsolved and we're currently happy with the status quo thank you very much uh you might want to write that down somewhere all right thank you uh uh she she to tong is that what's the word for hamster? Hold up. Oh, this is close. San Sang Shu. Tang Shu. There we go. Shish, motherfucker. Get out. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.